all right we are back with budget bangers this is the team i already got it set up i feel like going through the five minute setup of picking everyone is a bit tedious and not really friendly for the viewer it's kind of just more annoying if anything so i will go through who i picked for everyone but we will just talk about it not really uh go ahead and choose well i'll just explain who i picked and why so we'll start at catcher henry davis is our catcher coming in at 11,000 stubs request he's a pretty solid catcher all around doesn't give you crazy anything he, does, he doesn't do anything crazy at anything he's just very he's good he's good at everything and that's what you get for 11k i mean it, he's under 20k card i looked at under 20k cards behind the plate man and he's pretty much the best you're gonna get uh at least through, uh, after the ones i've already chosen at this point at first base we got ryan howard 99 125 solely choosing him for those righty stats very good against righties we are gonna have him actually interestingly enough platoon with either albert pools or pete alonzo gonna have to choose on that if a lefty's on the mound ryan howard he's out man simple as that he's not gonna be he's not gonna be starting in the lineup against the lefty 70 109 ain't gonna work on a hall of fame it just ain't 70 contact is dog shit it's not gonna happen jose altuve is at second pretty balanced card i do like him there for second base i think he's definitely solid written 444 with him online pretty damn good didn't even know i really used that card online we got tim anderson at shortstop said i'd be starting him there we're gonna start him there this game see how he can end up doing righty lefty doesn't really matter he's still got that contact against righty so he can give me some hits jose ramirez i've heard great things about this card uh i'm currently three for three with him apparently didn't really know that i don't know how i'm three for three. Oh, sack flies i guess uh but yeah three for three with a homer and a double we'll see how this card can actually do in hall of fame with his his contact being that low but apparently his swing's really good it's good enough to the point where he can uh start even in a hall of fame uh, we're gonna have jd martinez in left field said i'd be starting him 116 125 contact 88 92 power gotta start that man that is a beast of a left fielder can even somewhat field with good fielding good accuracy on the arm a decent arm good reaction and 40 speed i think that can play in left field we got the 97 julio rodriguez in center bit weak on the righty stats but the lefty stats are definitely solid he still has 99 speed out there with good fielding definitely think he can stick out there yet again oh he's over 20k now oh you know what when i built this team he was not over 20k we're gonna have to find a new center fielder my bad boys when i chose him he was just under 20k i did not think about how this could be a problem i'll go find a different center fielder he's over 20 simple as that you know what this nelson velasquez card looks fucking amazing 94 95 contact 93 98 power this is a very balanced card mid 90s contact i definitely think he can work out there he's got 79 speed with good fielding he can actually work i'm kind of confused how that's a 92 but he is so we'll take it nick swisher probably the best out of all of the home run derby x cards he's a switch hitter very solid hitting 97 101 107 96 solid fielding with decent speed he's gonna work out in right field going for only 12k this guy they're basically just going for quick sell at the rotation, we got Fernando Valenzuela in the in the rotation, sitting at a flat 20,000 stubs. He's gone up in price. We, by the way, go on the sell now, not the buy now. If you're buying at the buy now, that's your own fault. Most people, you should sell, you should buy at the sell now. That's it'll sell pretty damn quickly. The market is very active. There's no need to go and buy him for way more than you have to. He's a very solid pitcher. At the time I picked him, he was 17k. He's still 20. So I'm st I'm sticking with him. In the bullpen, we got a male class A. I I decided I don't think in the previous episodes we decided to make the entire bullpen under 20k guys. This episode they will be. Everyone here is under 20k, right? Yes, everyone here is under 20k. It's pretty much the best bullpen I could get going on the team for guys under 20k. Lefties, man, hard to come by, but that's what we got. Um, yeah bench looking pretty damn good dan's be on the lookout for him to start he's he's a very solid bat uh everyone here is still under 20k very close to not being though um okay so i'm gonna mess with the lineup a bit i'll figure out who's starting where we'll get into a game and we'll see if we can somehow be 3-0 with budget bangers pretty fucking crazy the last one the last one was pretty wild so i'm 
Curious if we can keep it going. Very curious. We're at 830 rating, by the way. We're not fucking around. This, this is a true test. Corbin burns on the mount, so we are facing a righty. It's what I prefer. He's got a decent little lineup here. He's got Ketel Marte. Respect that. Definitely a solid enough bat to keep on the God squad. He's got David Ortiz there. So we got some guy. We got Fernando Valenzuela on the mound. So he's going to help against that. He's 46 and 6. This man has lost six fucking times. That is it. I'm not used to the screwball release, man. I'm not used to the screwball release. I keep on thinking I'm going to have to release it like a curveball. Oh my god, that's getting down. That wasn't even that good of a swing. I can't even lie. I I, yeah, I mean, come on. It was a lone in fastball. He's somehow good on it, but it went that way. I don't, I don't really know how that works. Good pitch. You strike him out. Showing too much of a rhythm. There's no fucking shot. That's fair. Okay. Scores two runs. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's no knee game. He's 46 and 6. You don't gotta give him a hit like that. That's just fucking ridiculous. Uh, come on. He's just laid on it. The ball's on the other side of the fucking plate for a lefty, and he just gets it on the line. Fuck off. Oh my god, it still threw it accurately. Oh. Hey, go Howard. Late swing somehow still pulls it, I guess, because it's that inside. We turn it into a double. And he throws a dot of a sinker. Okay. Goddamn. This guy's going to be hard to hit against and pitch against. Okay. That's fucking gross. Oh, my God. That's a hit. I jammed him. I did my job. Apparently, I didn't. Okay, fuck. Never mind then. Just gonna be a routine grind up. Two innings down, two runs given up. A much better second inning for us. There's another double. Put a sinker right over the plate. We get a guy in scoring position again with one out. I'm looking silly. Two hits, two doubles. Nothing to fucking show for it, man. Getting too predictable with the fastball away. I just did that with David Ortiz again. And he crushed it. Gotta be more careful with that pitch. I'm fucking garbage. Good pitching. Looked great on a Neil Cruz right there, though. Okay. It's four innings down for Valenzuela. I need to get my shit together hitting wise. Come on. I swung at that. Holy fucking shit. I swung at that. Where is my eye, bro? Where is it? I don't get it. I don't get it. No. No, 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 no. You don't get made like that. He don't need it. He's not struggling like I am. He's got two runs. You gave him a cheese hit in the first inning. You don't need to give him that. He took that. Great take. I can't even lie to you. Good fucking pitch. Good pitch. Good fucking shit. He got on top of it. Five innings, two runs. He's honestly having a great start now. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I mean, bro. What the fuck did I just... Pick? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that pitch? Jesus. Okay, Swisher. Give him a double, I guess, sure. You would have gunned him at second if you didn't fucking do that. Oh my fucking god, yeah. Hm. 
Can you at least get to it? Make it only a four ring. Okay. At that, at the end of the day, it's like stupid that he fucking didn't catch that. But we got the out at seconds, and he scored, so it's, it's kind of like it did the same thing, except we got the lead runner with 99 speed. That's getting down. Okay. We got a runner. First time in a fucking while. Ryan Howard up. That's a double. Fuck, I wish Howard got on base. It's going to be a run score. It's not shut out anymore, so we score a run. But, uh, man, I fucking wish Howard got on base right there. Two run shot. It's a one run game. Oh my god. Okay, Nick Swisher just made this a fucking real ball game. Oh, Nick Swisher, thank you, thank you. And then you swing at that. Okay. All right, it's a one run game. That's what matters. We're going to the bullpen now. Jorge Lopez, or we're gonna go Jorge. Jorge's nasty. Should have dove for it. Should have tried at least to dive. Would have been probably a, a better result than that. Double play. Huge. We threw it two inside for him to hit it really well. That's a fucking great swing. And it's just short of being a homer. It's a fucking single. Oh. Okay. We got to take out the pitcher here. Simply have to. Uh, did we go to Dansby? Let's go to Dansby. Fuck it. I deserve to lose. I deserve to lose. Should have been better there. Should have been so much better. Oh, I just did that. Well, that's a way to lose a ball game. That's a homer. 12 to 4. Hey, think about this. It could have been a tied game right now. If I didn't get fucked over. You're such a dumbass game. I mean, you I've literally seen 10 times worse of a, of a graph called a fucking non-swing. So it's just you make no fucking sense, man. Get rid of that. Holy fuck. Enough is enough. The shit Tim out here is having to do, man. Fuck. What the fuck is this shit? Oh my god. Good swing, but like you already got two shit hits. Yeah, it's actually that's actually bringing in a fucking run because 99 speed. Holy shit. Oh, the way he got on base was so deserved too. All of those hits intended. GG's. Yeah. I fucked up. Fucked up my release right there. That was a terrible pitch. Jesus. I don't remember the last time this guy got like some sort of unlucky out. I really don't. <sighs> Alright. Let's try and close or try and let's guys, let's walk it off. 12 run, 12 run come back to tie the game. <laughs> no problem. Nice, dude. You know what's crazy? I don't think that happened to him a single time this game. A line out in center field. They're all just hits up center. He had one line out to left. Hey, look at that. We had a homer in the ninth. Without all that momentum, we'd have a lead if we didn't give up a run. And at that rate, we were actually pitching very fucking good. The team didn't do terrible. It's just that in that literal one fucking inning of unfortunate events causing the entire game to derail. The eighth inning. I'm 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 insanely mad about it. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna fucking do? What are you going to fucking do? I am pissed about it. But there's literally nothing I can do. It sucks. I get my eleventh loss. I think on my possible seventieth win. It's fucking annoying. Felt like I had a good chance of winning that game too, especially since during the later half of that game, I felt like I was doing better than that guy. And then that happened. So it's just like, 
JD Martinez, yeah, I'll give him player of the game. Home run, double two RBIs. Uh, Tom Marte, Robert Hassel, forgot yet again. He was only 828 rating. Man, you don't play that often then if you're 46 and 6. 69 and 11. Man, that pisses me off. Um, Tom Marte and Ross, uh, Robert Hassel, I think I'm going to do like a whole video by like the end of let's say season one i guess where we build a whole team of the best players we had throughout budget banger season one because i want to have multiple seasons so we'll do something like that uh so yeah right now we got three guys we got left field center field second base or wherever the hell could tell would have to play but uh yeah boys that's gonna do it for the video it does suck we took an l there we're now two and one it is my fault because i did bring in the positional player like an idiot but it's fucking annoying that i didn't get more warned about it I think they quickly said it as a notification at the beginning, but then I just didn't pay attention. I was like, no, I got Jorge Lopez on the mound. I don't need to take him out. And then bam. <laughs> All right, boys. Hit thumbs up button if you did enjoy. Subscribe more content like this. Always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.